All right, what is that? That is what keeps, comes with your old tracks, keeps your lines off your graph, keeps it grounded. What it is, it's a filter that allows for your charger the flow to come through but not go back the other way. So whenever you have all those lines on your graph, that's because it's not properly grounded. So Minn Kota came up with this nice deal. It's already pre-attached, uh, ready to go. Uh, typically will come with an Ultrax. And uh, what you do here, so I've got my MK460 PC. You don't want to cut behind the, uh, the fuses. Just cut in front of, cut off each lead, and this is just to your starting battery. Make sure I get enough there. Pretty straightforward. Just strip it connect it and then reattach it to your battery and you're going to help your interference tremendously when it comes to your units and your troll motor you know a lot of people will look at that and think it's their, it's their unit or it's their troll motor or something wrong when in reality it's just a matter of getting everything grounded correctly Once you got it all crimped up, you want to heat shrink it back on so everything's connected and sealed. And then you hook everything back up and what I encourage you to do is go ahead and plug in your charger to make sure everything's operational. Alright, so I got it all connected. One thing too, I didn't mention before, is make sure you have your breakers turned off. Just to make sure you don't arc. That's what she looks like. I've got, uh, you can see that. I got it in between my main lead from my Minn Kota MK460 to my battery. I use a DECA AGM. It's got 1000 Marine cranking amps, 800 coal cranking amps. This is the only battery that I've ever run that can handle talons, my boat, in all four graphs. Uh, if you're looking for this part number, it's 8A31DTM. But anyway, that's it. That's my setup back here. And keeping it grounded, putting that filter on there will help you out tremendously.